One of the most important and widely used features of an IDE is support for completions. And JetBrains IDEs, including CLINE, already have industry-leading code completion. We usually associate it with offering lists of available method names, which we can filter by typing, even matching on inner words. Although we do have completions for other tokens as well, such as statements and live templates. But they don't help so much if you have free functions that operate on certain types like this split function that operates on a string. And C++, at least for now, doesn't have the ability to extend existing classes the way that some other languages, like c -sharp or Swift, do. And that's long made these non-member function-based operations more like second-class citizens. That is, until now. Notice that our split function now shows up here as an available completion, right alongside the methods. And if we accept it, the expression is rewritten to a call to the function taken the string as its first, and in this case only, argument. This is only part of a feature new to CLINE called Postfix Completions. And that will be a big feature all on its own. But Postfix Completions don't stop there. We can also use them to apply control flow statements like for to an expression already typed as well. And back to the functions, it's important to note that ADL, that's Argument Dependent Lookup, is taken into consideration as well. So since we have a std type here, we can apply certain std functions, like the function form of swap. And if we look at a more custom type, we can see that it finds this operation from the same namespace, as well as a selection of generic std functions, like std move, and the static and reinterpret casts. As well as convenience and ergonomics, postfix completions allow you to write code in a style that puts objects first, and then the operations flow from that even when the language itself is inconsistent in that area. They join an ever-growing list of powerful features that are only possible by building an extensive index of all of your code. Sometimes that can introduce performance bottlenecks, but we're always doing what we can to minimize or eliminate those. In this release, we've addressed a complex issue with having to wait for go-to declaration in some types of projects. In particular, projects that use the Eigen library have been reported. So if you've been affected by that in the past, Please give this a try and let us know how it works for you. Completions and code navigation are some of the most important ways that CLINE can make you more productive and let you focus more on the code than the mechanics of coding. And 2021.1 takes another exciting step forward. If you don't already have it, why not give it a try for yourself with a 30-day free trial?